Hi guys, it's Jen and I know it's been two to three weeks since the lockdown in Metro Manila or rather in the zone and I gotta say I haven't been that productive I've been putting off doing a lot of things I plan to do and this is one of them so now I'm finally gonna do it and I'm going to show you guys how I'm gonna do it so let's go this looks like a mukbang or ASMR setup right here I'll think about that so what do you need so I have paint over here you can use any kind of paint you have there because I know we're not allowed to go out and buy things anymore here I have acrylic paint I'm gonna try and make this have a watercolor finish since we want the watercolor finish if you have watercolor in your watercolor water paint watercolor paint in your home then that's the best paint to have but if you don't have any, whatever paint you have there is good. If you don't have paint, maybe you could use crayons or markers. Obviously, if you use markers or crayons, you're going to get a different a different result. And you won't get that painting look unless you're that good. Some people can do it. I can't. I need some water and a paint dish. Unfortunately, there's a stain. Please don't mind it. So I have three different paint brushes here. So this is a, a wide one. And this one is uh, like a finer one for the details and this fat, 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 fat one here. Okay, aside from that, you're going to need paper, of course. So I'm using bond paper for this because I don't have any other paper here. Any kind of paper will do. And if you prefer a certain kind of paper, you can go ahead with that as well. I also have some printed inspo from Pinterest. So, of course, I got like a color palette I want to follow and some interesting designs that I want to do There's that, that, and here so I'm going to try and recreate this using my own hands <laughs> if you're not that good of an artist you can always print out a really big so you can put it underneath your paper and then you can trace it like I'm gonna do with this one I'm gonna show you guys and lastly this is optional if you have spare picture frames you can use it to frame your artwork. If you don't have these, then it's okay. You can put your artwork up as is, like post it on your wall as is. I think that's pretty artsy. <laughs> I think I'm going to shift to a voiceover for the rest of the video because it's so hot and I think I need to turn on the fan now. So I'm going to turn on the fan and put on some music so I can, you know, do my art. Let's go! So for the first painting, I'm going to be using this printed stencil and use it as a guide for my painting so for the first artwork I'm gonna do I'm going to use this stencil and use it as a guide for my painting you can do this as well if you're not confident in your painting skills like me just make sure that the printout would be the size you want it to be like the actual size and make sure it also fits in your picture frame if you don't use a picture frame painting this one was easy and i honestly thought that painting the rest would be as easy i was so wrong but i have to say this one turned out pretty good So for my next artwork, I'm going to do this type of ombre minimalist line work. So I'm just going to start with the black. So I'm just going to do strokes of black and make sure it fades out from the bottom to the top. This one is also really easy to do. So I suggest you guys look for this type of design or other types of designs that are similar. So you can try it at home too. So I went ahead and added a word to this painting because I thought it would give it a pop of colors. I used a green mixed with a little black to make it darker. To be honest, I had a hard time doing this lettering thing and doing calligraphy using 
the paintbrush is hard because I can't control the paintbrush as easily as I can control a marker or a pen. I wasn't that happy with the way this calligraphy turned out but I guess it'll have to do because it's already there and I can't do anything about it. So for my next artwork, this is going to be really really simple. It's probably the easiest of them all. So for this one, I just basically chose three shades or three colors from my palette. And basically um, stain the paper I guess it's like what you do when you staining makeup or trying lipstick out on your elf on your arm and then this is what it looks like and it's super simple and it's super nice too like it's so artsy to look at this next artwork is going to be related to plants since I have a lot of plants in my room, I might as well add some more. <laughs> so I printed out a copy of different tropical leaves and I was trying to copy the leaves but it's so freaking hard. It was fun but obviously I don't have enough skill to copy the leaves. My expectation was for my leaves to look like the one I printed out but reality was mine looked like a kid's drawing so that's that. So this is a minimalist painting of a woman's back, as you can see. I had a hard time doing this one as well. I tried to stencil it out, but my printout was too small for my frame. So the painting would be too small for my frame as well. I did so many tries for this one about three or four times until I got it right. The result isn't even actually that good, but it will have to do again. <laughs> Expectations versus reality. Hi guys, so I'm back after recharging my battery for a few minutes. While I was charging my battery, I went ahead and put my artwork in the frame. So I'm gonna show you guys now. So I have this, and then I have this. <laughs> it's really bad. I'm not a painter, so please don't judge me. I'm just trying. It doesn't look bad when it's from afar, but when you see it up close, it's... Uh, there's also this one. This one looks nice, I think, because I traced it. So next time, I'm going to have to trace all of my new artwork when I make a new batch. If you aren't really painters like me, you can go ahead and print the actual design and use it as a stencil when you paint it so you won't be having a hard time. There's also this. Unfortunately, as you can see, this is the plant print out. I put it in the frame instead of putting the... This one, because it looks like a kid made it, I swear. It sucks. It looks like... What's that? It looks like trash. When I put it in the in this frame initially, it looked really bad. I put the printout instead. So this is a cheat. You can always print out designs, to be honest. Since I'm not really doing anything this lockdown, I give it a shot. And it turned out okay, I guess. And then the last one is this. This one's okay, but it's not really what I envisioned it to look like. Maybe it's the design I chose, but it's okay. So that's that. Oh my god, I'm gonna pull you guys to me. Unfortunately, I won't be putting them up now because I don't have blue tack and or whatever I need to put them up there. So if you guys want to see what it looks like when it gets hanged up, I could update you guys on Instagram. So make sure to follow my Instagram so you can get updated <laughs> with this thing. It's fun! Plus you get to customize whatever you want to put in your room. I highly recommend you guys try it out too. So yeah, that wraps up my video. See you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for painting with me. Let me know what else you guys want to see in the next videos. I will have a lot of time. You can comment down below what you guys want to see or you can message or contact me on Instagram. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye guys!